Hi, this is Dr. Sage. We're going to be talking about jawline contouring today. As far as jawline contouring, there are different options, surgical and non-surgical. And depending on what part of the jawline we're talking about, it's very important to choose wisely. When it comes to the front part of the jaw or around the chin, contouring can be done with filler or implants. Both options are quite popular and safe depending. There are some pros and cons depending on what the goals are. When it comes further back along the angle of the mandible, it becomes more tricky. The incision lines might not hide well. Because of the force of muscles of mastication around the angle of the jaw, placement of implant in these areas are particularly risky and there's a higher risk of implant extrusion, displacement, or infection. So when it comes to the angle of the jaw, more and more fillers have become the mainstay of treatment. Particular attention should be given on male versus female augmentation. A male jaw tends to be more squared and female jawline in these areas, even though it is still model-like to have a strong jaw bones and fairly chiseled looks, it should not be too squared. It should be a little bit more soft and rounded around the corners. Unfortunately, I see a lot of overly done female jawlines on Instagram that's somewhat masculinizing and it doesn't look natural and as attractive. For example, when it comes to this patient, she wanted to get a more robust jawline. And as you see, because we wanted to go for a significant augmentation around the front part of the chin, we decided to go with a large size implant. So it would be a one-time deal for her to take care of the contour of the front part of the chin. And after we finished augmentation of the front part of the chin with implants, later on, we can go and play around with the jawline, with the filler to achieve the desired contour. Another important part about jawline contouring and why it is so crucial when it comes to the aesthetics of the face is that it brings more harmony to the rest of the neighboring structures of the face. It brings more contrast and chiseled appearance to the lower face and mid face. For example, in this patient, we didn't do any procedures to her mid face, but by just augmenting the jawline from this to this picture, you see that there is more contrast, there's more chiseledness in the buccal area of the cheek, and because of that, cheekbones are more prominent and kind of popping more than what you see on the other photos.